huko juu yetu the power of god is upon us na uwezo wa mungu uko pale pale and the power of god is right there haujawahi kupungua it has never declined ukiona umepungua if you see it has decreased jua ni imani imepungua then you should know it is the faith so uwezo wa mungu umepungua how the power of god that has decreased Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio maana Yesu akitaka kuponya. That's when Jesus want to heal. Au alipoponya mtu. Or when he healed someone. Alimwambia imani yako imekuponya. He told him your faith has made you whole. Imani faith ni mlango is the door. Ni mlango is a door. Ni funguo is a key. Mlango unaofungua when the door is open ndio nguvu utakayoiona that's when the power is revealed sasa ninapongea as i'm speaking right now nataka uamini kokote uliko i want you to believe wherever you are nimeifungulia nguvu mpaka kule uliko i've opened for the power nimeifungulia nguvu mpaka pale ulipo i've opened for the power popote ulipoka wherever you are seated popote unaponisikiliza wherever you are listening from weza bwana unaanza kufanya kazi sasa god is beginning to work right now sikiliza Listen. Watu wataanza kuletwa kutoka maeneo mbalimbali. People be brought from far. Different and akifanya kosa achike simu. And if makes a mistake to hold the phone. Anasikiliza rise and shine. And listen to rise and shine. Kama kuna pepo hapo hapo litatoka. If there's a spirit shall live right. Kama kuna uchawi hapo hapo utatoka. If there is witchcraft right there. Kama kuna ugonjwa hapo hapo utatoka. If there is sickness right there shall live. Ah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hai wezekana It is impossible. For you to listen to the word from the mouth of the master. Now you remain holding the phone in the hand. Lazima nguvu ianze kufanya kazi. It is a must the power has to work. Kama mliona majumbani mwa watu, as you saw in the homes of people, mambo yanatokea, things happening. Such in people's homes. Vitatoka kwenye mili ya watu hata mbele za watu. Leave their bodies even before people. Hello. Hello. Wangapi wanaamini hayo? How many people believe that? Wangapi wanaamini hayo? How many people? Yanaanza kutokea kuanzia dakika hii. They will begin to come out right this minute. What people? Hawatamjua Mungu. They will never know God. Kama sisi hatutawaonyesha Mungu. If we show them God. Yes sir. Hello? Hawataweza kumjua Mungu. They will never know God kaka sisi tunaomjua Mungu until we who know him tunaonyesha Mungu tunayemjua so then the god we know na kama Mungu hataonekana and if god will not manifest ni sisi tunaomjua it is us who know him tumemficha we have hid him hello amen hello amen hello amen nasema hivi i'm saying this kuanzia yeye mnaokuja hapa beginning with those who come here upako nitakao endelea kuachilia kuanzia sasa as i release the anointing from now mafuta hayo maji hayo nini the anointing of the anointed water makundi ya watu yatakufuata nyuma kwa each friend groups of people will follow you kukwambia na sisi tupeleke na sisi tupeleke tunataka kufika we want to reach there kuna watu there are people mtatoka na kijiji kizima kinakuja you shall come with the whole village utatoka na mtaa mzima unaofuata kwa maana mambo yatakayoonekana kuanzia sasa mtaa wako hawataacha wasijue mtaa wako hautayaficha yasijulikane yeah, haiwezekani Yesu it could be Jesus haiwezekani Yesu it is impossible for Jesus akae kwenye nyumba yako to be in your home alafu anyamaze and then he keeps quiet haiwezekani it is impossible Yesu yuko tayari kufanya Jesus is ready to work na Mungu anatafuta kujionyesha nguvu zake and God is looking to manifest his power lakini watu wake hawaonyeshi nguvu zake but his people are not manifesting his power hallelujah hallelujah Amen. Mungu God anatafuta watu is looking for people ajionyesha nguvu zake that he may show his power kitabu cha wakocha cha mambo ya nyakati the people of uh, uh, the book of chronicles maandiko yanasema the, the scriptures say kwa maana for macho ya bwana the eyes of god ukimbia kimbia run to and flow duniani kote in the whole world ili ajionyeshe that he may manifest his power for to those who are perfected 
inaelekea kwake to go to him mungu mm. god anataka kujionyesha he wants to show himself and for him to show himself hata kuja hivi hivi ki upepo upepo he will not come just in lazima atoke shedrak there has to come lazima atoke elia there has to come elijah lazima atoke mwenye roho ya elia he has to come the one the spirit of elijah mambo ya nyakati wa 2:16 mstari wa 9 soma kwa maana kwa maana macho ya bwana macho ya mungu Ukimbia kimbia. Yanakimbia kimbia. Duniani mote. Duniani kote mpaka hapa Tanzania, mpaka kwenye kijiji chako, mpaka kwenye nyumba yako. Ili ajionyeshe. Ili ajionyeshe. Mwenye nguvu. Ni mwenye nguvu kwa ajili ya hao. Kwa ajili ya hao. Waliokamilika moyo. moyo. Kuelekea kwake. Kuelekea kwake. Haleluya. Amen. Haleluya. Sio mtoto aliyefika hapa. It's not only the person who arrived. Hata atakayeshika sim even those that will hold the phone. Hata atakayetazama TV that will watch the TV. Hata hata tulia. He will never settle. Hata tulia. Never settle. Kama kuna mapepo atatoka. If their spirit will. Kama kuna kitu kibaya kama rishwa kitatoka. Haiwezekani. It is impossible. Taifa kama hili a nation like this na bara kama hili and a continent like this tukawa na Yesu to have Jesus na Mungu aliye hai and the living God bado watu wasijue yupo Mungu and people know that there is a God tunabaki na tiana moyo we are just in ourselves kwamba tusubiri tuende mbinguni so let's where we go to heaven hakuna za kusema tusubiri tuende mbinguni mbinguni tutaenda shall go to heaven lakini lazima watu wamjue Mungu but people Amen. must lazima vichwa vigumu vimjue Mungu lazima kila farao amjue Mungu every fellow must know God kila farao every fellow hello amen sikiliza listen kulikuwa na watumishi wengi wa Mungu there were so servants of God wakati wa Elia mtishibi in the days of Elijah the teacher by na katikati ya nyumba ya mfalume and in the home of the king mfalume akakosea akaoa mke wa wa falme wenye miungu mingine the king made a mistake to marry a wife that has other gods kwa lugha nyingine alioa mke mchawi in other words he married a witch wife ambaye anaitwa Jezebel that is called Jezebel ambaye alimshawishi mfalume who, who, who uh, manipulated the king akamfanya aanze kuabudu miungu yao to make him begin to worship her gods wakaleta manabii wa uongo and they brought in the deceptive kama ni nane about eight nao wakafundisha mungu mwingine he began to teach another wa israeli wote wakageuka all the israel turned around na wakawa na waharibu na manabii wa mungu and he began to spoil the prophets manabii wengi wakaficha so many prophets began kwa sababu mfalme because the king sasa amekamata ufahamu he has been taken of his bible inasema the bible says akatokea elia they came out elijah from nowhere from nowhere akatokea mbele ya mfalme he came before the king akamwambia mfalme and he said king kuanzia leo from today mvua haitanyesha the rain shall not fall mpaka mimi niseme until i speak yes Huyo Elia mtishibi alinifurahisha sana kwenye Biblia. Elijah the Tishbite makes me happy. Mmoja wa wafalme wa, wa, wa manabii walionitia nguvu sana. He is one of the prophets that encouraged me so much. Kwa habari zao of, because of their story. Akatokea akasema, he yes. came out and said, "Hakutakuwa na mvua, there shall be no rain." Wala hakutakuwa na maji, no water. Mpaka mimi niseme, "Until yes. I speak." Mpaka kwa neno langu, mm. "Until my word." Nikisema nyesha itanyesha. If yes. I say rain it shall rain. Lakini sasa nimeifunga. But now mm. I have heard it. Mpaka until mimi niseme, "I speak a word." Kwa nini? Kwa sababu why? Watu the people wamekataa kumjua Mungu. They have refused to know sasa God. Sasa watajua. Now they shall Mungu know ni nani? That who is God? Na wachawi si kitu. And yes. the witches are nothing. Haleluya. Haleluya. Ambia jirani yako lugha yako lazima ibadilike. Tell your neighbor your language must change. Wote walikuwa waoka. Yes. They Manabii wote wamejificha. All king prophets were hiding. Elijah akatokea. Elijah yes. came forth. Akasema and yes. he said, Hakutakuwa na mvua. Yes. There will be no rain. Paka mimi niseme. Until I speak. Paka kwa neno langu. Yes. I my word. 
wa faruma wa kwanza 17 kuanzia mstari wa kwanza na Mungu hataki kutuma watu malegelege God does not want to send feeble people Anataka kutuma watu ambao He want to send people wako tayari kumdhihirisha who are ready to manifest him Hawa ogopi they are not afraid wanaamini they believe Akaongea mbele ya mfalme akaondoka. He spoke before the king and he left. Mvua mfalme akafikiri ni kichaa anapita huko. And he thought he's a madman passing. Akafikiri ni kichaa mmoja anapita. He thought he's another madman. Mwaka wa kwanza mvua kuna. One year no rain. Mwaka wa pili mpaka ikuru kuna njaa. Can be even in the, in, in the uh, 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 white house no rain. In the in the palace. Mpaka ikuru kuna njaa. Even the hunger in the Mpaka farasi za ikuru zina njaa. Even the, the, the horses of the palace are dying. Bible nasema. The Bible says Mungu akamwambia sasa heria. And then God said aloud. Baada watu wanakufa na njaa. Wa people up dying of hunger. Akaenda kumlisha na mjane. He went to feed the uh, Baada ya miaka mitatu after three years. Mungu akamwambia sasa. God said now. Nataka kuleta mvua. I want to bring rain. Lakini wewe umefunga kwa mdomo wako. But you are holding your Mpaka wewe uende ukaseme. You closed it you have to. Na mimi siwezi kuondoka kinyume na neno la mtumishi wangu. I cannot go against the word of my servant. Hmm. Yes. Ikabidi Eli arudi. Akamwendea mfalme. He went to the king. Akamwambia, and he said, Kwa nini mmejiuza kutenda maovu? Why have you decided to do evil? Sasa, now, niitie watu wote. Call all the people. Unajua kwenye njaa, you know when people are hungry. Hata mtu awe mbabe vipi? Even if somebody is so chai kiingia, powerful when he just anakuwa mnyenyekevu na kama ameokoka. When hunger comes in, he becomes very humble. Anaokoka he gets born again. Ukiona mtu ana kiburi ni njaa tu, ni chakula tu. When you see Ameshiba. somebody with pride is Lakini njaa ikiingia is full of food. When but when hunger comes. Hakuna anayeweza kuzini na njaa. No one can do a fornication when he's hungry. Atafia hapo. He will die. <laughs> Ujanja wa mwanadamu ni chakula tu. Happiness of man is food. Hakuna mtu anaweza kuzini na mwanamke na njaa. No one can commit adultery. Au na mwanaume na njaa. Oh, a man who is hungry. Mtawakuta wamekufa. You found them dead. Njaa kali ya siku 7. 7 days hunger. Hakuna anaweza kutukana matushi na njaa. No one can abuse people when he's Hakuna anaweza kuwa mbabe kukunja wenzake na njaa. No one can be stubborn fighting his Chai kiingia wote wanakuwa wameokoka. When a hunger comes in everybody ni morokoli. Ukiona mtu ana pasi nguo fashion anavaa fashion ameshiba kwanza ironing the clothes different fashion is because amekula ugali Yes mm. Hallelujah Amen. Ukiona mtu anakaa saruni anaangalia nywele zikae huku ziangalia huku ameshiba When somebody is in the saloon spending up there is because Ukiwa na njaa when you are hungry hakuna urembo no beauty Wewe kupaka wanja na njaa. You cannot do the eyebrows when you are. Wewe kupaka lipstick na njaa. No lipstick when you are hungry. Wewe kutafuta fashion na njaa. No fashion when you are hungry. Wewe kwenda saruni kaambia ninywe kiduku na njaa. You can never go to the store. Kwamba ninywe huku ziishe. Hapa na njaa. Njai kiwepo fashion ya kuna When there is hunger there is no fashion Na yari ya rijua And they allow you a new Kwa mba ujanja ote huu To see all their stubbornness Hata wachawi Even the witches Na manabi wa wongo And the false prophets Na wapunga pepo And those are strong Wana usema kiti yangu kiti yangu Wana pandicha pepo kwa sababu wa meshiba Ukiwa na njaa uwezi kuchipandicha pepo Kiti yangu kiti yangu wana kunyonga He will kill you He will strangle you Ndiyo Yes Ujanjo wa binadamu ni chakula The wiseness of man is Na Elia kagundua and Elijah discovered kwa sababu ameshiba that because they have Ndio maana wanaloga That's why they be weak Ndio maana wanapandisha pepo That's why they call Ndio maana wanatabiri uongo Ndio maana wanafanya uzinzi That's why they fornicate Akasema mfalme and they say king Nimefunga mvua I've holding the rain Tuone atakayeendelea atakayeendeleza ubabe hapa Let me see the one that will continue break the mpaka mfalme until the king akawa mnyenyekevu 
He came humble. Elijah told the king, read. Mfalme akakutana na Elia akamwambia, "Ni wewe unaitesa Israel?" Mm, okay. 18 kuanzia mstari wa 4. Mstari wa 16 na 17 endelea hapo sasa. Okay. Basi Obadia akaenda zake amuone. Ah. Amuone Ahabu. Ah. Akamwambia, "Na Ahabu akaenda kumlaki Elia." Ahabu mfalme akamlaki Elia. Ikawa Ahabu alipomwona Elia, akamwambia, "Ahabu akamwambia, wewe ndio unataka. Je, ni wewe Ewe mtabishaji wa wa, wa Israeli. Tunakufa na njaa kwa ajili yako nilikusikia ukiongea. Yes. Ni kweli kumbe ulikuwa unamaanisha. We are dying of hunger it was because of you. Aha, endelea. Naye akajibu. Akajibu. Si mimi niliyowatabisha Israeli. Sio mimi niliyowatabisha Israeli. Bali ni wewe. Ni wewe. Na nyumba ya baba yako. Na baba yako. Kwa kuwa kwa kuwa umeziacha amri za Bwana. Umeziacha amri za Bwana. Na umefuata mabali. Umefuata mabali. Basi sasa. Sasa Upeleke watu. Upeleke watu. Unikusanyie jamii ya Israeli. Yana nampa kibarua mfalme cha kutangaza mkutano wa injili. He is giving the king a job of announcing the kutsev. Njali kiingia. When the hunger comes. Mfalme akawa MC wa mkutano. Ah, the king became. Konga mano, konga mano. Became the MC, konga mano, konga mano. Wapi, mlimani. Mlimani. Mubiri nani? Elia. Who is the preacher? Is Elijah. Anaambia mfalme weka strategy. He says a, a king make a strategy. Ya kukusanya watu of gathering people. Waje kwenye mkutano. That they may come to the Ni waonyeshe Mungu wa kweli. He said that I may show them the true God. Ha, hmm. endelea. Basi sasa upeleke watu unikusanyie jamii ya Israeli katika mlima wa Kamel. Ndio. Na wale manabii wa Bali 450. Na wale manabii wa Bali wa Ganga Kenya 450. Yes. Aha. Na wale manabii wa wa Ashera 400. Aha. Walao chakula mezani pa Yezebel. Walao chakula mezani pa Yezebel. Basi Ahabu akapeleka watu Ahabu kwa wana wa Israeli wote. Aha. Akawakusanya manabii pamoja katika mlima wa Kamel. Ndio. Na Elia Nani amekusanya? Mfalme. Amekusanya wakina nani? Wote. Watu wote. Who the people, the king? Ameandaa mkutano. Yes. Ametangaza mkutano. Meeting yes. Endelea. Na Elia akawakaribia watu. Akawakaribia watu mhubiri. Wote, wote akanena. Akanena. Mtasita sita Kwenye njia mbili. Katikati ya mawazo mawili hata lini? Ha? Bwana akiwa ndiye Mungu. Kama Bwana ni Mungu, mfuateni. Mfuateni. Bali ikiwa bali ni Mungu. Bali kama ni Mungu. Haya, mfuateni. Wale watu hawakumjibu neno. Kwenye njaa watu hawajibu neno. When people are hungry they Ukisikia watu wanasema ah wokovu gani Yesu gani? Uh, jua wameshiba. When you hear people say which salvation you know they are out of food. Hmm. Ukisikia watu wanakucheka kwani wamekwenda kuabudu kwani wameenda Tanganyika Packers wameshiba. Because you have gone to Kandaki. Njaa ikiwa kamata wanakuja wenyewe. When they are hungry they will come themselves. They say that because they are full. Others say there's no God. They are full of fools. Hallelujah. Amen. Jai kiwa kamata. But when the hunger takes over, how will they come? They will never answer a word. 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 Mimi peke yangu. Peke yangu. Nabii wa Bwana. Nabii wa Bwana. Lakini manabii wa Bali. Manabii wa Bali. Ni watu 450. Watu 450. Kwa hiyo. Kwa hiyo. Na wa, wa, watutolee ngombe wawili. Watoe ngombe wawili. Wao na wajichagulia ngombe mmoja. Ha? Wakamkatekate na kumweka juu ya kuni. Ha? Wasitie moto chini. Ndio. Nami nitamtengeneza huyo ngombe wa pili. Na kumweka juu ya kuni. Wala sitatia wala moto. Sitatia moto chini. Ha? Nanyi. Ombeni kwa jina la Mungu wenu. Kwa jina la Mungu wenu. Nami nitaomba kwa jina la Bwana. Na Mungu yule ajibuye kwa moto. Na awe ndiye Mungu. Na awe ndiye Mungu. Watu wote wakajibu. Watu wote wakajibu. Wakasema. Wakasema. Maneno haya. Maneno haya. Ni mazuri. Wakati tamaa kwa hakuna wokovu. Sasa hiyo kuna njaa wanasema haya ndio mazuri. That time they say ah uh, there's no salvation but we had of, of, of the meat they say. Maneno haya ni mazuri. Yes. These words are good. Wakati mwanzoni sasa hakuna Mungu. In the beginning they say there's no. Wakati mwanzoni sasa walifikiri Mungu wa Mungu bahari ambaye ni wa waganga na wachawi ndiyo mungu wao baada ya nja kila mtu alinyoka akasema ya elia ndiyo mazuri wakatengeneza madhabau waganga na wachawi 
Elia akawaambia manabii wa Bali. Nini ndio wewe? Jichagulieni ngombe mmoja, mkamtengeneze mka kwanza. Ha? Mana nyinyi ndio wengi. Mkaliitie jina la Mungu wenu ha? wala msitie moto chini. Ha? Wakamtoa yule ngombe waliyepewa tengeneza wakalitia wakaliita jina la bali ha? tangu asubuhi hata zuhuri wakisema e bali kutusikie lakini hapakuwa na sauti wala aliyejibu na wakarukaruka juu ya madhabahu wa jeshi ikawa wakati wa dhuhuri Elia akafanyia dhihaka. Elia akafanyia dhihaka. Akasema. Akasema. Mwiteni kwa sauti kuu. Mwiteni kwa sauti kuu. Maana ni Mungu huyo. Maana ni Mungu huyo. Labda labda anazungumza. Anazungumza. Au au anashughuli. Anashughuli. Au anasafiri. Amesafiri. Au labda amelala. Au labda amelala. Shaiti lazima mumuamshe. Anawadhia. Yes. Imefika wakati watu wa Mungu lazima tuadhiaki watu wa giza. Waite Mungu wao na si tuite Mungu wetu. Watamke maneno yao tutatamka maneno yetu. Waache vitu vyao tutaachia vya kwetu. Imefika wakati wa kuadhiaki watu wa giza. Na kuambia iteni Mungu wenu. Na si tuna Mungu wetu. We have our God. Wakapiga kelele. Wakapiga kelele. Wakajikatakata kwa visu. Wakajikatakata kwa visu. Na dhembe. Unaona? Kama ilivyo desturi yao. Ni desturi yao waganga kujichanachana yes. na their behavior for them yes. to cut cut themselves. Na, kuji, na kuchanja watu. Yes. Even to cut people. Tangu zamani. Yes. Since those days. Wakajikatakata na nini? Na themselves. Soma. Wakajikatakata waka, waka na, na visu na viembe kama ilivyokuwa desturi yao hata damu ikawachuruzika ikawa ika wakati wa dhuhuri ulipopita ulipopita walitabiri Walitabili. hata wakati wa kutoa dhabihu ya jioni Aha. lakini hapakuwa hapakuwa na sauti wala aliyejibu wala aliyejibu wala aliangalia wala aliangalia kisha Elia akawaambia watu wote ni karibieni mimi watu wote wakamkaribia akaitengeneza madhabahu ya Bwana iliyovunjika Elia akatoa mawe kumi na mawili kwa hesabu ya kabila za wana wa Israeli na neno la Bwana na kuambiwa na kuambiwa jina lako litatoa Israel na akaijenga madhabahu kwa mawe hayo katika jina la Bwana akafanya mfereji kama vipimo viwili vya mbegu Ukizunguka madhabahu ndio kisha akazi, akazipanga zile kuni zile kuni akamkata ule ngombe vipande vipande yeye peke yake anamkata ngombe vipande vipande akaviweka juu ya kuni akaweka juu ya kuni akasema akasema jazeni mapipa manne jazeni mapipa manne na machi mkaamwage juu ya sadaka mwage juu ya ile sadaka ya kuteketeza na juu ya kuni na juu ya kuni akasema akasema fanyeni mara pili fanyeni mara pili wakafanya mara pili sasa hiyo Ada kwa uwezo wa uhakika kwamba ana uhakika na Mungu aliyenena. Kwamba hajaweka maji mimi mwageni maji mpaka pawe dimbu ila maji. Sidem kafikiri nimeficha moto huko. Mjue ni Mungu amechinja. Akasema fanyeni mara tatu. Wakafanya mara tatu. Yale maji yakaizunguka madhabahu. Akaujaza mfereji maji. Akaujaza ule mfereji maji. Ikawa wakati wa kutoa dhabihu wakati wa kutoa dhabihu ya jioni Elia nabii akakaribia Elia nabii akakaribia akasema akasema e bwana e mungu. mungu wa Ibrahimu wa Ibrahim. na wa Isaka wa Isaka na wa Israeli na ijulikane leo na ijulikane leo ya kuwa wewe ndiye mungu ya kuwa wewe ndiye mungu katika Israeli katika Israeli na kuwa mimi na kuwa mimi ni mtumishi wako ni mtumishi wako na kuwa mimi nifanye mambo haya nifanye mambo haya yote kwa neno lako kwa neno lako unisikie unisikie e bwana unisikie unisikie e bwana watu hawa ili watu wao wajue ya kuwa wewe ya kuwa wewe bwana ndiwe Mungu ndiwe Mungu na kuwa wewe na kuwa wewe umegeuza mioyo yako wakurudie wakurudie ndipo moto wa bwana moto wa bwana ukashuka ukashuka ukaiteketeza ukai sadaka, sadaka, sadaka ya kuteketezwa ya kuteketezwa na kuni na kuni na mawe na mavumbi na mavumbi, na mavumbi ukayalamba, ukayalamba yale maji yaliyokuwemo katika mfereji marisia na watu wote walipoona eh? watu wote walipoona watu wote walipoona wakaanguka kifudi wakaanguka chini kifudi wakasema wakasema, 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 wakasema bwana bwana ndiye mungu ndiye mungu bwana bwana ndiye mungu ndiye mungu
wakati umefika Tanzania Afrika dunia kujua Bwana ndiye Mungu Bwana ndiye Mungu hawatajua kupitia watu legelege watajua kupitia wakina Elia wapatwa mafuta ambao wanamdhihirisha Mungu aliye ndani atoke nje aonekane God Bwana ndiye Mungu. Yes. God is our Lord. Bwana ndiye Mungu. Yes. The Lord is God. Bwana ndiye Mungu. The yes. Lord is God. Nini kikatokea mwishoni? What happened at the end? Elia akawaambia. Elia akawaambia. Wakameteni hao manabii wa Baali. Wakameteni hao wakenga kienyeji. Asiokoka hata mmoja. Asikimbia hata mmoja. Wakawakamata. Wakawakamata. Na Elia akawachukua. Elia akawachukua. Paka kijito cha Paka kisho. Paka kesho. Akawaua huko. Akawaua huko. Hello. Amen. Ndio mkono juu sema Bwana ndiye Mungu. Bwana ndiye Mungu. The Lord is God. Bwana ndiye Mungu. The Lord is God. Wakati umefika the time has come. Watu wa Mungu, the people of God. Na watu wa dunia, and the people of the earth. Lazima wafike sehemu. They have come to come and say. Waseme Bwana. To know the Lord is God. Bwana The Lord is our God. Dunia, the world, Tanzania, Tanzania, Tawako, your street, Tawata mjua mungu wako, they will never know your God, Paka wewe umuonyeshi, until you manifest it. Na kosa watu wa mungu wengi, and the mistake of many people, Kwa Yesu, yote, ya nawezekana.